This is a story about how I got out of, out of jail in Calgary. And I came so close to dying. Um, I was in segregation at Spy Hill. That's what they call it. And I don't know why they call it that. I guess it's in a neighborhood called Spy Hill or something like that. Anyways, I was out of my mind. I couldn't see properly. I couldn't hear properly. I was so out of it, I couldn't even take a shower. Like, man, it was crazy. So I get out. Get shackled. And since I was in the psych ward, well, not the psych ward, but the observation cells in the basement of the jail, I got out and... They drove me to the hospital. I walked away from the hospital. I didn't go. I just walked out of there. And I remember this. The only day that I remember exactly everything that happened. I walked out of the hospital. Peter Lougheed. It's in northeast Calgary. I walked north to 32nd Avenue. I walked past the uh, London Drugs, and uh, I went to Smashburger. I don't know why. I thought it was, I was delusional. I thought it was 1999. So I go to Smashburger, and there's an apple pie sitting in the bus stop. Like it was conveniently left there for me, but I I didn't touch it. It was it's just gross. Oh, I, I got on the bus. Can't remember which bus was it. I don't know. 73. Bus 73. I went from 32nd Avenue Northeast. Uh, close to... Uh, Edmonton Trail and uh, Memorial Drive or something like that, right near where the old Pisces Petitorium is. And I just got out and walked down to the creek. I thought I was being, like, obligated by people to sleep in the bush. And... I got out of there. I was smoking cigarettes like crazy. I got released with two packs. I got released with two packs of cigarettes. And you know what, man? I was walking around for four hours. And in Canada, we have 25 cigarettes in the pack, not uh, 20. So 50 cigarettes. I was probably walking around for about three or four hours. I took the bus up to Huntington. Went to my grandma's house. She didn't live there anymore. But I thought since it was 1999 that she might live there. Of course she didn't live there. So when I took the bus, I got... <clears throat> I got off Center Street and uh, Bennington Boulevard. And there are people I saw from jail. Like, it was crazy. And they, they phoned the police on me. They thought I was high on cocaine. And I wasn't. I wasn't high on cocaine. The police took me to a sobering place, like almost like a treatment center, but a homeless shelter that you go when you're drunk called the Alpha House. 
and I walk away from there and where did I go? I went to the river. I was going to jump in the river because I couldn't handle all the mind problems that I had. But, you know, I was like seconds away from jumping in the river. And the waters were high, too. It was really high water. Really fast, rapids. And the bus came, the 10 bus. I was sitting at the bus shelter when I was right by the bridge where the water is. And I got on the 10. I knew I was going to kill myself. Uh, I got on the 10. I got off at Schnook Center. I walked up and down the road, smoking cigarettes, chain smoking. I jumped off an overpass, a really high 40 foot overpass. I woke up in an ambulance, or sorry, I woke up. The paramedics are picking me up off the ground. And when I was in the back of the ambulance, they said, I had no blood pressure and I was going to die. They didn't say that to me, but I think they said that to my parents or something. I get to the hospital. My dad's there. Uh, he did some operation or whatever on me. It was crazy. You know, long story short, I took physiotherapy. I was able to walk again. They they didn't think I was going to be able to walk, but I got I was going to be in a wheelchair. It's a miracle I survived by the grace of God. And I was in the wheelchair, or sorry, I was in the hospital for three months recovering. And if I had died that day the way I was living, I would have gone straight to hell. But praise God, praise Father God for saving me. I hope this encourages some people that, you know what? God loves you and he wants something for you. God has a purpose for you. And that's not the first time I almost come close to death, and it's happened numerous times. But we'll get into that later. That's it for the day. God bless you.